Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Todd back here with another video. In this video today, we're going to be talking about the leaked content in NBA 2K21 with the new Inferno set that did get kind of leaked today. I, I mean, I kind of like the fact that 2K does it. I think it actually probably increases the hype for tomorrow's drop, but wow. So we're going to be breaking down the four cards that we do see in this little uh, leak today and how I think they're going to be. How does this affect the market? And are any of these players going to be the new best players in NBA 2K21? My team. We're going to be talking about all of that in this video today. But before we dive any deeper, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So the first card today that I do see here is Pink Diamond, Chris Stapps, Porzingis at the center power forward. So each and every one of these cards are cards that we have been kind of longing for for at least a little while now i do think this chris steps is going to be pretty similar to the one we saw last year if you guys remember that pink diamond chris steps but obviously cards are accelerated a little bit this year with the opal o the opal ad we saw already kp i'm expecting to have somewhere around 18 hall of fame badges i think that's uh what about we're gonna see anywhere from anywhere from 16 to 20 hall of fame badges is what i expect out of kp i'm expecting somewhere around uh upper 70s low 80s speed for chris Stapps. he's gonna be pretty solid and remember he's seven foot what seven three seven four and he's gonna be able to shoot the ball like crazy he's gonna have range extended now obviously on the defensive end i don't think he's going to be that complete i don't expect honestly that many hall of fame defensive badges maybe one or two but i mean honestly chris Stapps is going to be probably one of the best offensive bigs in the game we don't have that many good offensive bigs right now if you really do think about it outside of blake griffin uh and anthony davis obviously who is just all around great we got guys like bill russell david robinson players like that but we don't have anybody who is that next level good as chris Stapps and obviously as Chris Stapps is going to be on the offensive end. So that's kind of my thoughts on Chris Stapps and how he's going to impact the game. The next card we are going to get is Trace McGrady. Now, obviously, Chris Stapps is still going to have that Brooke Lopez base. Expect it to be on quick timing. Though. Next, we do have T-Mac. He's probably going to have, obviously, that Trey Burke base. Expect him to have that on quick. Now, the one thing I will say about T-Mac, with the fact that the speed glitch is in the game, his dribble sigs don't matter that much. I know he has the John Stockton uh, half-court dribble sigs, which obviously aren't that great, but with what he can bring otherwise, I think he's going to be incredible. 6'8". We haven't seen a T-Mac since the Pink Diamond T-Mac who played on a lot of squads for that specific time. So expect this T-Mac to have an upper, you know, mid to upper 90s three ball, good driving dunk, Hall of Fame showtime, Hall of Fame range. Expect this T-Mac to be absolutely incredible and expect this T-Mac to be better than Terry. The, the Terry we just saw in Triple Threat Online. Yes, expect this Tracy McGrady to be even better because I think he will be. Okay, so just know that going into it. If you do grind more Triple Threat Offline, that's fine. But just know that tomorrow we're going to get a guy who is better than him. Trace McGrady, I promise you, will be better than Terry. So what does this mean for the market? What does this mean for guys, let's say, like Grant Hiller or guys like that? Just know the overall shooting guard market is going to go down. And it's not just the shooting guard market. The overall market is going to go down like crazy tomorrow. But T-Mac is going to play a pretty big part in that at the shooting guard position. Remember, T-Mac's always on 250K squads. So expect that T-Mac to be on 250K squads about a month from now. Literally, basically exact, exactly a month from now, 30 days from now, that Tracy McGrady card will still be used in the game then we do see a galaxy opal lebron james now we were we were expecting both t-mac and lebron soon i honestly was not expecting them at the same time so what does this mean okay what does this mean for 2k in general well here's what i said will say on next gen that the, the t-mac and lebron on next gen are just gonna be ridiculous okay i just want to say that current gen wise if they don't change lebron james's release it limits how good he can be overall it does i'm sorry i don't want to sit here and ruin like your dreams about lebron james specifically but i'm just here to tell you guys is it does hurt his value the fact that he does have that release in which he does step in and so just know that going into it what you what to expect about lebron he's going to be an absolutely incredible on the defense man he's going to have pro weight he's going to have great speed probably going to be fully badged remember we haven't seen a lebron with more than 15 golden hall of fame badges combined expect this lebron golden hall of fame badges combined to have near 50 okay so if you like the pink diamond lebron if you like the diamond lebron just know that this galaxy opal lebron is going to be different and when i say different just know he's going to be a different level of 
good, especially on that defensive end. Like I said, next gen offensively, he's going to be an absolute problem. Current gen wise, uh, if they keep that release the same, I'm sorry, but it just truly limits how good the card can be. It really, really does. And so, am I going to get LeBron on current gen? We'll just have to see tomorrow what obviously happens. But you guys know me and you know I love defense. So, I might have to give LeBron a try. The last card featured is the card that I think can have the biggest impact on the game or the least impact on the game in point guard Ben Simmons. Yes, it's a point guard. Now, the reason I emphasize the point guard on Ben Simmons is because last year, about this time, we did get the flash glitched Ben Simmons. Now, the one thing about that Ben Simmons is he had a 65 three ball. So you kind of had to pick your poison. Either you wanted a rim running point guard or you wanted a point guard that can move and group. In in this case, in this 2K, more than ever, I feel like small point guards have been usable. You're still seeing guys like Gary Payton, Dwayne Wade. Yes, they're 6'4", but they're not demigods like this Ben Simmons at 6'10". Remember, this Ben Simmons is going to be the same Ben Simmons that can pro A up the court. This Ben Simmons is going to be the same Ben Simmons that is going to be absolutely incredible on defense. So, expect this Ben Simmons to have Hall of Fame showtime. Don't expect this Ben Simmons to be able to shoot lights out. Honestly, I expect this Ben Simmons to have upper 60s, low 70s uh, three ball, which isn't going to be good enough in a comp type setting to consistently knock down off the dribble. I don't care what you guys say. If he doesn't have hot spots from above the break, he is going to limit your offense. Now, with that being said, is he still going to be one of the glitchiest players in the game? Absolutely. Okay, he's going to make your defense that much better. It's just, you're going to have to pick your poison. Do you want an offensive point guard or do you want a guy that is just one of the glitchiest players in the game? And not only this Ben Simmons, not, not, not only does this Ben Simmons you know change the market it just changes everything within 2k because this opens the fact that now we're open to add a position players now that we saw our first huge tall point guard yes we've seen magic ben simmons is different now we're opening ourselves up to a glitched Giannis point guard eventually obviously we expect a regular Giannis first but just kind of know what 2k has in mind we saw an ad with 22 hall of fame badges expect these t-mac to have low 20s hall of famers expect lebron to have low 20 hall of famers and expect both chris Stapps and ben simmons to have upper teens hall of fame badges we're seeing a huge change in 2k pretty early on it's late january i expected it late january or late february when these cards would come out maybe i may this honestly could have been the last drop before the actual 250k tournament so it's kind of coming earlier than i obviously expected because remember we got t-mac i guess it, we got t-mac about this time the pink diamond t-mac last year so maybe it is kind of on pace to what they did last year 250k is just a little bit later so just expect these players to change the game change the market pretty dramatically the market is going to decrease by quite a bit uh with these new opals remember we had two opals before and after this we're gonna have four opals with the addition of kp and ben simmons two of the glitchiest players at their specific position guys next gen specifically each and every one of these players is going to be very very good current gen is going to be interesting to see who has steady shooter what they do with lebron release some stuff like that but guys comment down below which of these players are you guys most excited about for me it's probably t-mac i'm the guy that has the biggest risk reward thing is ben simmons if they give ben simmons a three ball they are living dangerously that's all i'm going to say but that is going to wrap it up for this video i hope you guys did enjoy it drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day